What is up everyone? This is Nick once again at NJ's Bricks and I'm here with another top 10 video for you this week. Last time out we did the top 10 clone trooper minifigures. So today of course we are going to do the top 10 stormtrooper minifigures. If you didn't catch the last video go ahead and check the description down below for a link to see that one if you'd like. We're going to start off the video here with a shout out to Brick Vault on YouTube. One of their videos helped me to see and assess many of the Stormtrooper variants as I could. I think they were up to date through about 2019. So I just had to trawl through a few sets from the last couple of years to see if there was anything worthy of making the list. With that said, we're going to jump into the honorable mentions. First off, wanted to note to the Royal Guard with dark red arms and hands and the Shadow Guard. I wanted to mention these two examples quickly because they are pretty cool versions of any of the older figures that have the cutout in the visor space as opposed to some kind of visor printing and instead they show the minifigure headpiece down below. These are some pretty cool figures even though they are very simple. Next up I wanted to mention a few subtypes of the Stormtrooper minifigures including the Imperial Scout Trooper, the printed black head and legs, Imperial Shadow Trooper, the Imperial Shock Trooper, and the Imperial Patrol Trooper with the light nougat head. These figures all have some pretty unique and cool printings compared to the more generic Stormtroopers. And in the case of the Shadow and Shock Troopers, they have some unique identifying colors as well. There's a bevy of cool First Order troops, and I wanted to honorably mention the First Order Snow Trooper Officer and the First Order Flame Trooper. I really like the sleeker helmet shape of the First Order Troopers, and these ones have some unique variants on those. There's a number of cool ones, and I wanted to note these too. There's a couple of more red color Stormtrooper variants, including the Elite Praetorian Guard with the pointed helmet and the Sith Jet Trooper. Both of these figures have very cool helmets and molded bits, although they do lack some of the advanced detailing and the printing that other troopers have. And the first honorable mention that did not make the top 10 list is Captain Phasma. This is a very cool and accurate minifigure, and I do like the coloring and the large pauldron. But otherwise, it is a bit lackluster in detail. It would have been much cooler if it was made more like a figure that we're going to see later on this list. So without further ado, let's move on to the top 10 Stormtrooper minifigures. At number 10, we have the First Order TIE Pilot, three white lines on helmet. There have been plenty of cool TIE Pilot variants throughout the years, but this version to me is the coolest one for an obvious reason. The 3D molded breathing tube that comes out of the helmet piece. In previous iterations of this figure, that breathing tube had been printed on the torso, but the three-dimensional offering is so much cooler than its 2D predecessors. Number nine on this list is the Imperial Death Trooper. Showing up alongside Director Krennic in the Rogue One film, this Death Trooper minifigure carries plenty of accuracy into minifigure form. There's a lot of detailing all over the printing if you look closely, including on the pauldron and the helmet. The little green highlights on the front of the helmet add a subtle but a welcome pop of color, and this unique Stormtrooper comes in at ninth on the list. Number 8, we have the Range Trooper. The Range Trooper from the Solo film is a pretty unique for a few reasons. It has a different helmet shape with some great detailed printing, both in the visor shade and the wear and tear elements on the helmet. The tan coloring in the hands and the printing is a nice contrast to the white. And the cloth collar piece is also very unique, haven't seen that on any other trooper. All those details combined give the figure plenty of character and puts it at number 8 on the list. Number 7 on the list of the top 10 LEGO Stormtrooper minifigures is the Imperial Artillery Stormtrooper. This is a good time to note something in this video as it compares to my last top 10 of the Clone Troopers. There are far fewer colorful variants of the Stormtroopers when compared to the clones. This is for several reasons. Most simply, the extensive Clone Wars canon provided many different variants on the Clone Trooper to the screen, and thus that translated to our plastic little friends here. But from a more in-universe perspective, a more philosophical perspective, I see it this way. The Empire was much more strict and harsh in its aesthetic and its social intentions than the Republic was. There is far less freedom of expression and individualization under the Empire, so it makes sense that they would provide their troops with much less personality in their appearance. This is a little bit ironic when you consider the fact that the Republic Army is full of identical clones that develop their own identifying personalities, while the Empire's army is born of different folks 
that have their individuality systematically eliminated, the Artillery Stormtrooper makes the list at number 7 largely because its fun pops of yellow coloring, especially on that cloth pauldron, are very unique and satisfying amongst the assortment of general stormtroopers. Number 6 on the list is the Sand Trooper Squad Leader. There have been a number of versions of the Sand Trooper over the years, but this newer take on the figure is definitely the most exciting. The dirty, sandy printing all over the torso, legs, and helmet is telling a great story in the orange cloth pauldron piece provides a pop of color that sets the figure off. It's a very cohesive minifigure with a lot of detail. Number five, getting into the top five Lego Stormtrooper minifigures, we have the Imperial Stormtrooper in chrome silver. This is one that I am sure many Lego fans thought of when first thinking about the top Stormtrooper variants, and I'll admit that I wanted it both higher and lower on this list at different points in time. Part of me wanted it to be higher due to the uniqueness of the shiny chrome coloring, but the other part of me wanted to judge it a bit more harshly due to its overall lack of detail in other aspects. As such, I've settled on the Chrome Silver Stormtrooper to come in at 5th on this list. Of course, I would like to see them do a Phasma figure with the chrome printing, and I'm definitely not the only one to say that, and I believe it will happen in the future. Number 4 on the Top 10 Stormtrooper list is the Scarif Stormtrooper, the Short Trooper Squad Leader. The Scarif Stormtrooper variants are among my favorite of all the different Stormtroopers. Rogue One is perhaps my favorite Star Wars film, and I love the beauty of Scarif and the unique coloring and qualities of its Stormtroopers. The sand, blue, and tan complement each other very well, and the unique helmet shape and detailed printing throughout the torso, hips, and legs gets this figure up to fourth overall on the list. Into the top three of the list, we have the Dark Trooper. From The Mandalorian on Disney Plus comes the Dark Trooper, part of the dastardly Moff Gideon's personal cadres of elite soldiers. In addition to a brilliant molded helmet on this figure, it also employs the old school technique of having cutouts on the eyes, and it shows the red coloring beneath on the figure's head, as opposed to printing the red on the helmet itself. There are some great detail in the printing across the armor, torso, and legs, and some on the headpiece as well. The Dark Trooper definitely has a strong wow factor on first impression, and for all those reasons, it comes in at number 3 on the list. Down to the top 2 on the list of the top 10 LEGO Star Wars Stormtrooper minifigures, we have Sith Trooper with dark red armor. I myself had never seen this figure until recently, and if I understand correctly, it's mostly based on some Legends canon. Let me know in the comments down below where exactly this variant of this character appears, because I don't recall seeing it in any of the movies or the TV adaptations, but it is quite the impressive figure. The helmet has a unique shape to it, coupled with some detailed printing, and some awesome printing as well on the torso, hips, and legs. The helmet and print closely resemble those of Vader's in many ways, and I also enjoy the dark gray arms, offsetting the red coloring on the torso, which adds a little extra pop to the minifigure at number two on the list. Number one on the list is another version of the Stormtrooper that I had no idea existed until I started doing the research for this video, and that is the Mimbin Stormtrooper. I tried to look up a little bit about this guy, and it says it's like a special version of the armor for Swamplands and such. At any rate, this is an awesome-looking minifigure. It has some absurdly detailed printing all across the helmet, torso, hips, and legs, with a lot of environmental debris splayed across the armor printing. It also has one of the most unique cloth cape pieces I've ever seen, which even has its own custom printing showing like a hood and some folds in the fabric. I love the look of this minifigure, and it would be cool to have a small army all of the Mimbin Stormtrooper. That is it. That's my top 10 LEGO Star Wars Stormtrooper minifigures. Let me know in the comments down below which of the Stormtrooper LEGO figures is your favorite. Check out one of the videos here or here, and remember to stick around to see my next video. I'll catch you then.